So it's not too many people showing real proof of how they're making money with chat GPT. So what I did was I came over here and I asked chat GPT to do the best keyword research and scrape all of the keywords for plastic surgeons, uh, chiropractors and dentists. What is going to happen? I am going to automate a way using an AI bot to send them a link to my funding opportunity where they can get new equipment and pay their employees or whatever. And I could get commissions for that. So what's going to happen is I'm going to send to thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of these doctors at the same time, this affiliate link. And guess what? It's going to go to their sites and it's going to fill out thousands and thousands of contact forms while you guys do this manually. So all of these guys in Google, they're going to get a message from me. How? We're going to come over here right now. We took the data that we had from uh, chat GPT and we plugged it in here as keywords. We're going to open up project settings. And as you can see, all of the keywords suggested by ChatGPT are inside here. Okay, so then what we do is we're going to close this out and watch this, guys. I told you guys I'll show you every dang on thing, man. All right, we're going to press start and scrape new websites. And as you can see down here at the bottom, look, already is scraped 43 websites. All right. These are chiropractors, dentists, plastic surgeons, people that have budgets between five thousand to twenty thousand dollars easily. And what's going to happen is we're going to get them the funding. And what's going to happen with the funding after they get their equipment, they're going to have enough money left over for us to do some magnifico marketing. All right. And this idea all came from chat GPT. Told you guys. So we use chat GPT for ideas, research and what will make us the most money. Money and we combine it with other AI tools and automation tools to do the outreach and mass uh, effect. OK, so as you guys can see, this works is already scraped around 285 uh, websites. So what's going to happen is once it's done, you would then press stop right here and then you will click uh, again. And then you would send the messages, but I want to keep it running so that I can send these later. OK, so I'll go more in depth on the training tonight when you guys are with me live. Ready. So what do you guys think about that first part right there? Put a one in the chat or just type in their awesomeness. All right. So we're going to say what's up to a few people that's on here. Mrs. Cynthia Russell. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Welcome. Ben Venito, you understand in my Panama accent, right? <laughs> Panamanian accent. Okay. Uh, Contrix Beatbox says, I'm here and I support your work. I appreciate it, broski, or, you know, fam. All right. What's up, Muhammad? You're back again. Check into Rec and let's begin. Party on, party on. All right. Jerron, what's going on with you? Alan, hello. I own an e-commerce business. Great to meet you. Great to meet all of y'all. Cynthia, tell us what you're doing. Jan, uh, it says, I'm a developer. Don't have any assets. Well, guess what? If you're a developer, you have the power to create assets, though. Listen. We got to get out of the plantation mindset. I'm going to teach you to build digital plantations. Oh, that comes off. That might come off. Woo. Oh my God, are we offended in 2022? Every or two, oh my God, 2023. Everybody get it to the point where they want to cry about everything. So it says Telegram is also a winner. GPT sucks if you have a specific question. Uh, as I said before, it's not perfect. There, that's why they're already getting ready to come out with the GPT four, right? But you can still leverage it, guys. Don't look at it as a replacement for you. That would be scary. Look at it as an assistant for you, right? Quit looking for iRobot to happen because what's going to happen when iRobot happen, you're going to turn into I am legend if you get what I'm trying to tell you. So we don't want iRobot to happen. We don't want it to turn into our replacements. We want to keep them at a point where it's just helpful to us. All right. Uh, Gary says, I am creating assets that deal with frequency, well-being. Uh, some would call it a frequency medicine. That sounds super interesting. Make sure you guys are taking screenshots at the chat because some of these people might be millionaires or more in the future uh, leveraging all of this type of stuff. I know I'm going for the B word. 
And I ain't talking about the female dog. <laughs> I'm going for the B word, okay? Um, let's see. I'm in finances and health and wellness. This is what I'm trying to say. You can go and look up, Google the top tools. What type of tools would help streamline or, or, or uh, make things more uh, uh, simplistic for the health and wellness industry? Things that can take away the use uh, of a person having to do a lot of paperwork and all of that extra stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Like research that type of stuff. And then when you find an app that's like that, you just Type it into chat GPT. See if you can extract the coding uh, in PHP or whatever it is, whatever language you want to do of this app, chat GPT. And then you go and make a hybrid. You don't want to copy it. You make a hybrid. So you find a top two or three apps in the health and wellness space. And you see if you can clone the coding for it and you create a hybrid inside chat GPT. Then you take the coding and you go to Fiverr and you tell the developer 50 to 100 bucks, put this together and make an actual tool out of this that I'm going to charge a subscription for from uh, for medical offices and clinics and hospitals and all of that. Boom. There you got an asset that is helping the industry out and putting money in your pocket, baby. All right. So check this out. Uh, he said he's spitting that fire. All right. Yeah. Self-made says this is still mind blowing. Listen, it's only going to get better. Y'all it's only going to get better. Um, <laughs> I mean, if you like Chat GPT, man, wait till they wait till you see what they got next, man. I, I've been hearing some things. It's scary, er. <laughs> it's scary, er. But it's also more exciting. Listen, it ain't gonna take me over because I'm an ally. <laughs> I'm an ally. Listen, I'm a cyborg right now. You understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> I'm a dang on cyborg. You, you ain't taking me out. All right, so Edward says, awesome. This is definitely what I need. I'm a business funder for Equip. Woo! Did you see the first part, Edward? I don't know if you saw the first part where I showed the uh, the video of us using the software where it's going to fill out a gazillion contact forms on websites. So with what you would normally do manually, try to go to a website, find the contact page and fill out the contact form and get them to respond back to you. And, hey, let's set up an appointment. And I can offer you funding. This software can send out 200, 300 messages per minute. Fill out all of these contact forms for you. So your inbox is just flooded with appointments and and all of this extra stuff and a whole bunch of people giving you the middle finger, too. If I'm being honest, but if you set up the automations, how I teach you, then you don't have to worry about it. Um, Cynthia Russell said this is a time saver and money maker. Yes. Yes. Lord. That's what I'm saying. Look at the positive parts. Well, speaking of looking at the positive parts, guys, I have to give you an update on you to me. OK, so I'm always going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> and I told you guys in the first video, a lot of this stuff would change and we have to go back and we would have to revise things. So <sighs> Pictori can still replace two jobs. But the third job is still going to have to be done by a human. I didn't told y'all some of these jobs might still have to be done by a human. So at first, when I was telling you guys uh, at the beginning of the week that Udemy will allow you guys to upload it with the AI voice from Pictori, not anymore. A lot of people have been getting called back. And saying they need to re uh, human, uh, actual human voice to record it. So we can play the aww sound effect right now. And we can act like it's the end of the world as we know it. And we can turn into Justin Timberlake and cry a river if we want to. Or we can just say, well, at least ChatGPT is going to still create the entire course outline for me. <laughs> at least Pictori is still going to create the entire video. All the only thing I got to do is voiceover. All I got to do is read the script that chat GPT created for me. Oh, oh, oh my God. It's, I just can't take it. I still have to lift some type of finger. Oh my God. Yes, this is sarcasm, guys. So I, that goes out to the guy that was in my comments earlier whining, <laughs> talking about, look, hey, man. You to me said that I can't do this. 
Okay, you pivot. We talked about pivoting yesterday. You adapt. You understand? You turn into a chameleon. The whole goal of this chat GPT stuff and this AI stuff is to make things easier. It's not a freaking cure for life. You understand? The scripture says the crown goes to he that endures to the end. Enduring would imply that you're going to have to go through a lot of dang on obstacles. Good men are tried in the furnace of, aver of adversity. Do it. Do you think it feel good to be in a furnace? No. That means you're going to go through stuff, dude, to get to the top. You understand what I'm talking about? You think I got where I am without any problems? Quit whining. We are all grown men and women. People coming in the comments are, <laughs> I can't believe I actually have to do the voiceover. But you don't have to write the script, though. Yesterday, I showed you guys, okay, how to pivot if chat GPT does come with some content from the internet that's already from something else. Remember that? Who was on here yesterday? Did I did I panic? Did I go into a state of panic and melt away? And, oh, I got embarrassed in front of my audience. No. I just went back into chat GPT and I said, change the names of the characters. Change the names of the characters. Instead of it being a romantic book, make it a romantic comedy. And then I said, make it during the holidays created an entirely original script for that book. And you just, you just pivot, guys, okay? It's all right, it's all right. Yes, uh, Pavel says, modify. Colleen says, have an e-store and a network marketing, travel, and trade. So what I'm showing you guys today, it would be magical for network marketing as, as well as e-commerce sites and creating partnerships. Whoa, she's in Jamaica. Uh, Colleen said, I'm interested. I signed up and I text you. What's next? I need to build assets. All right. So I'm going to tell you guys what's next. I've been dropping nuggets a couple times this week. You understand? Like I'm clumsy at McDonald's bars. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to have a course sometime in the end of uh, January, right around tax time. So you guys won't be acting broke. All right. So <laughs> what is going to, is going to entail, is going to have the course, of course, recordings and all of that extra stuff, but it's going to be a full in-depth eight week boot camp. So we're going to build assets together according to what industry you're in. I'm going to show you how to create assets today. I'm going to show you some more of my assets. I'm out and open with you guys. I show you everything. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to be one of them channels where they just go on there and just be talking about chat GPT. Like, I'm going to show you what I'm working on. I'm going to show you my failures. I'm going to show you what's monetized. I just accidentally showed you inside one of my funding accounts that I haven't been in in about a year. So you guys see that I practice what I preach in my Barry White voice. That's Barry, right? All right. Um, Colleen. Does your number start with a 437? If so, then I see it. Okay, so don't worry. We got you. Customer support will send it shortly. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the second part of that video. Okay, so for you guys that weren't there at the beginning of this, I will show this again at the end. Make sure you are here. I'm going to show uh, both of these videos uh, in, in, you know, right back to back, you know, uh, after we get done going over some di directories. Look at me stuttering and stuff, All right? <laughs> We're going to go over the directories that we didn't get to go over yesterday. So you want to use chat GPT's knowledge of customer acquisition, uh, conversion, and uh, creating an attraction to the assets that you want to build. So like I said, and you can use it for coding, but we're at the point where you don't, you don't need all of that stuff. A lot of stuff is templated and white labeled and all of that. If you want a directory site, it can be a couple grand instead of back in the day, it was, you know, a million dollars. The Yelp website probably costs like millions to build. You understand what I'm talking about? But now a, a lot of this stuff, you can just buy it off the shelf like some cereal. Okay. Somebody else just text. <laughs> okay. So y'all are texting while I'm on here with y'all. Y'all might as well just ask the questions in the chat. Um, I'm going to show y'all that second part of the video. Stay on. All right. We're back about 30 minutes later or so, uh, paused it or whatever part two. Anyway, as you can see, it scraped around 
5,582 uh, contact forms from all of these websites. As you can see, is chiropractors, is uh, dentists, is plastic surgeons, all of these in the United States. So what we're going to do just for this example is, and this all plays into the directory. So say you got your business directory. Instead of the funding link that I'm sending out, you will be sending them that. So we're going to stop that right here. I want to show you something real quick. Go to project URL. Go, you're like, well, okay, you show me the keywords. Yeah, it's real. Uh, what else? Okay, so then you come to the submission form right here. So as you can see, it's automatically going to fill out the captures in case you were wondering that. This is what it's going to do. It's automatically going to fill out the contact form. So it got the name, uh, <laughs> the name of the company, you know, email, the phone number. That's a tracking number, right? Okay, then it's going to uh, give uh, the subject line right here. I need a doctor ASAP. Remember, this is targeting chiropractors, plastic surgeons, and dentists. And then they got the message right here. Howdy. Um, you know, I can hook you up, basically. Okay, so that's the message. Okay, all right. So now that you guys see that, how do you send? How do you start sending the messages? So we're going to click on it again. And then we're going to hit start. So now, as you can see, it's highlighted. It wasn't highlighted in the other video. So all of those 5,000 uh, websites is going to hit those websites up and start sending messages uh, into the contact forms all at once. So we're going to hit that. Uh, it says use only selected items. Yes. Now I was asking me to preview my message one more time. And then I'm gonna say, do I wanna? Yeah, okay, so continue. Boom. So now it is busy. And it's about to start sending the messages. So it's just going to send the messages to all of those sites, as you guys can see. And that's pretty much how it goes. OK, so what do you guys think about that? Though? That's crazy, as you can see. So the first one failed because I haven't set up the capture yet. Uh, the decapture tool. That's the thing that's going to like bypass all the captures and everything like that. So you'll see it right here when it says failed. And then over here, it will say uh, sent if it actually went through. OK, so you just want to let this run in the background all day while you're working and everything like that. So it's super awesome. All right. My sincerest apologies for my countenance in that video. Uh, as you can tell, I sounded extremely uh, <laughs> drained and tired. Uh, my wife says that I'm supposed to be on the lion schedule. I'm one of those people that are extremely energetic around 3 a.m., 4 a.m. in the morning, but I probably need to have some type of cat nap around 12 noon or something like that for about 30 minutes to get back up and stay up again. But today I forfeited that. So around noon time when I was eating and stuff, I was like, Ugh trying to create all this stuff and make sure it was ready for you guys. So I hope you appreciate that. I forfeited my sleep for y'all, man. That means y'all are important. Do you understand this? Okay. <laughs> all right. So let's get back to the comments. All right. So, uh, Jaron Clark, it says, where can we find this software? I'm going to hit hook you up. All right. So make sure I don't forget, make sure you like put it in the actual comments or go over in the Facebook group fung out right now open up another window and go to the facebook group and you post that in there like where is that software from the live stream where it's going to be sending a gazillion contact uh form submissions to the websites so imagine okay they go to the booking uh calendar all right so you send this to all of the uh, uh dentists and uh, let's see who would you want to give funding to. I got in there dentists, chiropractors, and uh, plastic surgeons. 
and it's talking about giving them uh you're welcome man it's talking about giving them uh funding for new equipment and the remainder of it we will use to bring them in more customers look i just gave you that man i just gave you the irresistible offer look at that man i ain't even charged nothing for it man see but anyway, so basically a whole crap load of them are going to book the calendar. So what do I do? So I don't have to pay for a lot of VAs and closers and all of that stuff. It's something that used to work and still works pretty decently called a webinar. So instead of them actually getting on a call with me, whatever I was talking to them about, when I sent them the booking calendar, the booking calendar is going to redirect to a webinar explaining the offer. Then that's going to have a call tracking number that they can create a time to talk if they actually need to speak to a human or they can just get text the, uh, uh, the invoice. You understand what I'm talking about? Or if it's for funding or something, they'll just get the link. They'll just get the link to the funding program that we have. Boom. And once I see them in there that they apply for funding, if they get approved, then we can just commence to doing the marketing side of things in my marketing agency. Fully automated, right? So <laughs> you see how simple this stuff is, man? All it is, somebody said chat GPT is banned. Who is this? Alex Kroskin. Um, is banned where? Chat GPT is not working right now. It's not banned, man. Okay. It a lot of the time is just flooded with people. You understand? Do you understand that majority of the world is talking about Chat GPT right now? You understand? So, like they they had they weren't ready for that. All right. So even if it go down for a while, listen, you're not crippled, guys. You don't. What I'm trying to show you guys is this is why I was talking to you guys about building a moat around yourself. Your business can't be dependent on one source. You understand what I'm talking about? One power source. What if you get unplugged? You understand? You need to have a backup generator if you get what I'm talking about. Matter of fact, I'm in Panama. I need a backup generator out in this. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? So this your business needs to have backup generators. So if ChatGPT was to go away, how were businesses ever getting by without ChatGPT before? You understand what I'm talking about? You use this when it's available. And guess what? It's too powerful. So it's not going to stay down. Okay, I'm over here refreshing the page. It's down right now. But do you understand how powerful and how much money this is going to make? So it will be back shortly. After these messages, maybe you understand what I'm talking about? Because Chat GPT 4 has to come out. It's going to come out. It ain't no, it's not, it's, it's no stopping this stuff. There's no stopping it. You understand? Only God can stop this stuff. All right. So, Kevin Clark and two others commented on a post. Uh, yeah, man, y'all need to be active in that group because you understand what I'm talking about? Like, listen, I don't do this for my health, man. I work out for my health and eat right for my health. I do this for, for business and money and fun. All right, so Jason Blake, he said, courses can be done with this right. Yes, we're going to talk about the courses too today. All right, Mrs. Cynthia says, yes, it gets busy sometimes, but comes back up. It happened to me. It happens, yo. It happens to any site. Do you remember a couple years ago when Luke Cage came out? Yes. Luke Cage, you understand? The bald brother on Netflix with the superpowers, like when Marvel was killing it on Netflix, you understand? He broke Netflix. He made history. <laughs> the first black man to break Netflix. No, I'm just playing with you. But he broke Netflix. Netflix, when, when the first day Luke Cage came out, Netflix broke down. Like, <laughs> that's how many people flooded it. So what do you think is happening right now with this? This is like a phenomenon you can search in czechoslovakian language they're talking about it and that they're talking about it in italian spanish all of that so many people are on in the first three days i think a million people are on there you understand what i'm saying and nothing has ever like happened like this before so you gotta be let's work some patience y'all so if it's down for a little moment oh your brain gotta do a little bit of work okay until it gets back up 
Uh, Cynthia said, how can I get in the group? Okay, I'll repost it right here. There we go. Yep, Cynthia said, Luke Cage was a hero in the hood. Yes, yes, Lord. Okay, so somebody else, Art says, I want to be the bank. You can be the bank. I don't know if he's referring to my um, asset vi uh, uh, videos that I have on the channel. Um, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I haven't done one in a couple of weeks, but you know, one of the platforms that we build out for, uh, for customers or clients rather are banks, online banks, like clones of cash app, PayPal, that type of stuff. So imagine owning your own bank and you have, even if you had 200 users, cause somebody, somebody was, who please don't come at me with the negativity. Y'all man, please. I don't like pessimistic people. Right. OK, so somebody was like, look, <laughs> in a group this morning, look, hey, I think you leading people straight. <laughs> how, how are we going to compete with these big industry uh, titans? How are we going to compete with a directory against uh, uh, Yelp? OK, um, the same way Angie's listed, Home Advisor, <laughs> um, Thumbtack. Do you think? Just because somebody created some can, people can't create some else. What is wrong with people? Where's the fight? This is like the softest generation ever. Where is your fight? Why? Oh, well, somebody already know. Oh, I better not go there. What are you talking about? That means they proved the business model works. That means you don't have to test or, or, or try it out. You know, it's going to work. OK, so you get your share. So what I tell people is replace your income. OK. So when we build these banking platforms, so we have, uh, I'd say about seven to 15 different people that we built these banking platforms for. I tell them the niche, Quit, don't try to compete really with Cash App or anything like that. So we have people that own little banks in their towns. All right. And they get users from their towns and they deal with the business owners from their towns. They become the man in their town. Even if you had 200 users on your banking platform, do you understand that people spend thousands of dollars a week? Do you understand that it takes on a life of its own? Have you ever got a call from the bank and they told you, man, you need to use your debit card, man. We're trying to get paid, man. Come on, dude. No, this is what I'm talking about. When these platforms these assets that you build, they take on a life of their own from users. So if you own a banking platform, that means they get debit cards, right? That means when they swipe the debit card, you get paid from the transaction fee. Why do you think when you send someone a hundred bucks, they only get $97 because that platform gets the three. All right. When you take something out of the ATM, the ATM owner gets a fee. Uh, gives a piece and your bank gives a piece and some of the debit cards have a monthly maintenance fee Do you understand the business models here? So you don't have to have a gazillion users on your platform guys So what I'm going to come out with the course that I'm going to show you is exactly what I'm doing I can't teach you anything. I don't know about I'm never gonna act like I know everything guys pride comes before the fall so I build assets that I can pass down to my children because the Bible commands me to leave an inheritance for my children's children. So these assets, some of them are small. Some of them might only bring in a couple thousand a month, right? But they can grow, they got potential. And then others are gargantuan. But I'm not really trying to compete with anybody out there. I find business models that work, create assets in those industries and build little communities around them. It could be 500 users on there. That'll still replace your nine to five income. If you got 200 people on your banking platform and they're buying their, uh, uh, getting their Starbucks in the morning, they're paying their Netflix bill online. They're swiping when they take their mistress to the uh, dang old hotel. They're paying for their flight to freaking uh, Disney world all day. You got two, Two to three hundred people on there just swipe, 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 payment, 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 and you're getting a piece of every single transaction fee. Or let's say that you get a restaurant owner that owns a chain of restaurants to give all his employees your debit cards. He pays their uh, wages weekly through their debit cards and they spend their checks using the debit cards that you own. You're getting a piece of all of that. Come on, y'all. Woo. All right. So I'm. <laughs> 
I'm just talking about this stuff. This is not a sales pitch. Um, you know, uh, that the bank right now, the holiday, you know, we've been doing the 5k special for that. <gasps> oh, that's a lot. No, go to Google. Nobody's doing this for less than $20,000 except for me. So you understand? And it ain't because I'm Santa Claus and some, some crap like that. I just believe, like I told you before, I see the back ground of everything it's, it don't cost 20 grand or nothing like that to build the banking platform a lot of this stuff is just the connecting and communications of already pre-built codes and apps and stuff that's out there making them communicate with each other to run seamlessly in the background type stuff you understand what i'm saying so uh and then so we show you which cities and states that you don't need licensing in that you can just go ahead and start getting users on your banking platform so we build a lot of assets on our channel that's all i talk about I don't teach people to be slave minded or work for anybody else. I teach you to be a business owner. You, that means you have to own assets. I don't want you to just be an entrepreneur. I want you to be a business owner. Entrepreneurs, they make money. Okay, I made $3,000 drop shipping a t-shirt. Oh, very good. What about owning the print and demand website that people are selling their shirts through? You understand? So that's the, that's the type of stuff that we talk about over here. All right. Um, Cynthia Russell said the same way Netflix took out Blockbuster. Exactly. Exactly. Dude, Blockbuster had the opportunity to buy Netflix. It's like, ain't nobody finna be buying no movies online. <laughs> I bet they like, yo, I'm an idiot. Oh, if y'all do the same thing, you're going to feel stupid. Don't be afraid of this stuff. Right now, it's just stuff, but it's going to be gold one day. You understand? So I tell people, listen, gold. A lot of people talk about that blue ocean strategy. Bull crap. That's the coward's way out. I want to go into shark infested waters and start ripping tails and fins off. You understand what I'm talking about? So what I'm saying is. If you go in the uh, <laughs> on the side where all the competitors are and you have a unique proposition, you still get the same reaction as if you were in a blue ocean. If you get what I'm talking about, let's say you created an alliance with all of the sharks. Now you got all of these partners. <laughs> There's your cheerleaders. All you have to do is have a unique positioning that makes them feel as if you're not their competitor anymore. Like, oh, you guys are all SEO agencies. Even though I do SEO too, guess what? I do automation. So how about this? I'll send you guys some of my SEO clients that I don't want to deal with every month. And you guys give me access to all of your freaking clients that need to automate a lot of their stuff. So now you just turned that whole red ocean into freaking friends.